Today's book specially for Jack and Liam and Rory from their great Aunt Nina. This book's called Aunt Nina and her nephews and nieces. Aunt Nina had no children. She had no husband either, but she had three nephews and three nieces. The nephews and nieces liked to visit Aunt Nina. One year on her cat's birthday, Aunt Nina invited all of them. Shall we go to the zoo, the toy shop, the theatre or restaurant? Or would you like to have a treasure hunt? Couldn't we just stay at home, said the nephews and nieces. Well, if you like, said Aunt Nina. Where's Fluffy, the birthday cat, said half the children. She must be hiding, said Aunt Nina. Let's look for her said the children. They started in the basement. They found rabbits, tortoises, guinea pigs and mice. But no Fluffy. <laughs> this is better than the zoo, they said. They went up to the first floor. They found dolls, teddy bears, jumping jacks, music mocks, boxes, jigsaw puzzles, trains, tin soldiers and books. But no Fluffy. This is better than the toy shop, they said. They went up to the second floor. They found dresses, shoes, jewellery, makeup and wigs. But no Fluffy. This is better than the theatre, they said. They went up to the attic. They found blowing curtains, flying bats, old suitcases, a lot of dust, but no Fluffy. This is better than the haunted house, they said. Don't worry about Fluffy, said Aunt Nina. She'll show up for her party. I wish I had a cat of my own, said one of her nephews. So do I, and I, and I, said all the others. Who's hungry, asked Aunt Nina. We are, said all the children. All right, let's have lunch, said Aunt Nina. They went into the kitchen and had lunch. This is better than a restaurant, they said. Nap time, said Aunt Nina. You don't take naps, said the children. Today you do, said Aunt Nina. So you'll be rested for the party. She walked them up to her bed, pulled back the covers. There's Fluffy, said the children. And what's that? Under Fluffy were six newborn kittens. What a birthday, said Aunt Nina. This is better than a treasure hunt, said the children. Now let's leave them alone, said Aunt Nina. They don't like to be disturbed. That takes care of our naps, said the nephews and nieces. The children unpacked Fluffy's birthday presents. Aunt Nina brought in Fluffy's birthday cake and they all sang, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Fluffy, and all the little Fluffies. Happy birthday to you. It was time to go home. Come see us soon, Aunt Nina, said the nephews and nieces. I'll have to, said Aunt Nina, to bring you the kittens when they're a little bigger. There's one for each of you. This was better than our own birthdays, said the nephews and nieces.